like this. Drag the knife back to me. Turn it. Go right on out. Turn it over. Drag it back to me. Tip it up. You can set it down. Lean over. That's a perfect pivot point on the table. Like this. And then just go like that. Set it down. Slide it. Set it down. Slide it. Set it down. Slide it. Just like that. And turn it over and do the same thing if you want to that way. And then just go out, keep your fingers stuck back out of the way, just like that. You end up with a really long, hard to sharpen knife. Hard, hard to sharpen knife. It really is quite sharp, even out there or on the body. Keep your knives tuned up and never let them get dull. I see people all the time that come to my table. And I even ask them. Uh, I can, I'm a pretty good judge of how long it's been since a person sharpened a knife. And a lot of people actually, it's about two years, and then it doesn't cut anymore. So they buy a new blade because they don't sharpen well. You know, and if you run it through the V, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Then it's just a matter of don't put enough pressure to. Now, if your knife is super dull, you have to put enough pressure on it <clears throat> to cut a new blade on it. So if you're going to do that, it would look like this, and it just spits the metal out. That'll cut it off back to 10 degrees to the apex sharp, and after that, you don't use any more pressure than this, light. And you end up with a knife in the kitchen that really actually cuts. You know, is it as sharp as you possibly get it? No. I actually don't enjoy that knife. Nice. <laughs> hang on, like that, that's sharp enough. If you make a knife as sharp as you can possibly get it, it's going to be so thin at the cutting edge that it probably won't hold an edge. Then you have to actually be careful when you cut it. And for God's sake, it's not a glass cutting edge. That's solid rock. You know, if you're like that, Pounding your cutting edge on a, on a rock, that's not a good idea. Wood cutting edge is the very best. If you're ever in doubt about the sanitation of your wood cutting board, just go out and set it in the sun. The sun will kill anything. Hey, this is Brad Buckner, SharpestBest.com. Thank you guys for coming to the uh, expo, even if it's on my videos. I see now I have 39,300, I think, uh, followers. That's cool. Thank you all very much. Um, my YouTube channel just keeps going up and up and up. We put more videos on. I show you more things. A lot of the stuff that I show you is on this table. But a lot of the stuff that's on this table is what you have at home, and it's what you use every day. So if I show you how to use your naturally used everyday uh, cutting instruments, whether it be axes, hatchets, hoe shovels, planter blades, draw knives, planters, head trimmers, grass trimmers, side dykes, tin snips, all your uh, pocket knives, your hunting knives, your kitchen knives, your bread knives, your fingernail clippers, and I'm going to show you something that I don't know if I've ever showed you before. Okay. Uh -oh. This, this little guy right here, that's actually a pocket knife. Now, you will see where I was at a show, but I, I now carry it in my pocket, and I've learned that this is kind of a, a medical deal. So you slide that out, pull this, and out comes the X-Acto knife blade. So you have a very sharp, for sticker picking, making small incisions in your foot or your leg or wherever you might have a serious sliver, not just a sticker, but stickers can be very hindering. If it's in your hand, every time you grab something, do something, you push the sticker further in and it hurts. Okay, so this little guy, you've got uh, all the blades that come with an X-Acto knife. And let's just go ahead, as long as we're filming, and uh, show you. There's a bunch of blades in there. There's some new washers. Okay, so you have the little sticker picker. You have that one. You have the curved blade. And to be honest with you, I guess I've never really looked. Can opener, your bottle opener, your puncher, your poker, your prior. Uh, you know, it is actually, yeah, a can or a bottle opener probably. And maybe it'll punch through. 
You know, I bet it will. I bet that's hard enough steel that you take a rim of the can, tip it up, and punch that right. You know, that might be a can opener. Uh, I have to admit, I have not investigated that deep into it. I just use the knife. Yeah. And I've actually been using this one. And if I hold still, you can see I've been sharpening it. There's some scratches back here. There's a difference in color on the blade versus a new one. You see how this one shines all the way across very uniformly, and the one that's on my little knife does not. So I use it, I sharpen it with one of these, okay, and it would look just like this. Match the bevel, slide it from the hilt to the point, just like that, I'll slow down so it'll be just like this, just like that. Turn it over and do the same thing. Now, with me sharpening it, it still looks like this. So you're telling me if they want to sharpen a tool, they're going to go there. Yeah, and gonna if go. they want to buy the other tool, they're going to go there. Yeah. So you're going to go here to buy the tool or come here to the show and buy it from me. And if you want to buy my sharpeners, you go to sharpensbest.com. No, make them figure it out. I'll figure it out. Okay. There you go. There we go. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, just have fun because I sharpen about 55 different knives, blades, and tools. I can maintain an edge. I can make a knife out of the back of a hacksaw blade. It takes two minutes. All right. I can make a knife out of a CD, um, a DVD, a 45 record, uh, license plates, credit cards, spatulas. Um, I, I have the talent and the knack to make knives that slice tomatoes out of thin plastic. And if you've ever tried to make a knife out of thin plastic, you're going to find out that there's a very, very fine little wiry edge that sticks off of the plastic that uh, keeps you from slicing a tomato. I can fix that. This is Brad Buckner, SharpenBest.com. You take care. You stay sharp out there. All right. You got a knife? I can sharpen the 43.